Hello friends, welcome to Maths Nerd. Today I will solve some practice problems based on ratio and proportion. Let us start with an easy problem. Express 200 meters as a ratio of 4 kilometers. This might seem easy, but the trick here is that it, the one unit is meter and other unit is kilometers. So first we have to convert them into like units, then only we can express it as a ratio. So here we go. 1 km is equal to 1000 meter and 4 km is equal to 4 into 1000 meter. So that's equivalent to 4000 meters. Next, we, we have written our ratio. 200 is to 4000. But I think we can simplify it. And if you have watched my previous video, you know that we I can write it as a fraction. So 200 by 4000. We can simplify it as... 1 by 20 and rewrite and rewrite it again in the form of ratio so our ratio is 1 is to 20 and we are done another example coming up so the question is the ratio of girls to boys in a school is 5 is to 4 if the number of boys is 200 less than the number of girls find the number of girls and boys it means that the students in the school can be divided into groups of nine with each group containing five girls and four boys. Now we are given that the number of boys is 200 less than the number of girls. So we have to find the number of girls and boys. So let's start with that. First we'll write let the number of girls be 5x and number of boys be 4x. As we do not know how many number of groups are there so we have taken that number of groups as x and the number of girls as 5x since there are 5 girls in each group and number of boys is in as 4x as there are 4 boys in each group. Next, we are given that 5x minus 4x is equal to 200 as number of girls is 200 greater than number of boys. So, x is 200. It means that there are 200 groups, such groups which have 5 girls and 4 boys in that school. So, 5x is equal to 5 into 200 is equal to 1000 and 4x is equal to 4 into 200 is equal to 800. So there were 1000 girls and 800 boys in the school and this is it. Let's take a look at one more question. Now this is a bit hard. A fort had food provisions for 42 days. After 10 days another group of 200 soldiers arrived at the fort. Now the food will last only for 24 days. How many soldiers were there in the fort initially? So this simply means that a fort has, I mean the fort had some number of soldiers such that the food, the fixed amount of food which was with them would have lasted for 42 days. Then after 10 days, means out of these 42 days, after 10 days, another group of 200 soldiers arrived at the fort. Now the food will last only for 24 days. It means that the food which should which should have lasted for 32 days would last only for 24 days since more 200 soldiers have arrived. And they are asking how many soldiers were there in the fort initially. It means that uh, the soldiers will be before the arrival of these 200 soldiers. So to begin with we will write let the number of initial soldiers be x. You can take any variable, I have taken x, but be sure to always take the variable value to the value we have to find in the question. Next, we can write let the food consumed each day be 1 by 42. And why I have taken this? Because when there were x soldiers, the food would have lasted for 42 days. So, the food consumed on one day is equal to 1 by 42. And we can verify it by multiplying 1 by 42 into 42 and we will get our answer as 1. Next, we can write total food consumed in 10 days is equal to 10 by 42. And why this is? Because 10 into 1 by 42 is equal to 10 by 42. Next, we can write food remaining is equal to 35, 32 by 42. And why I have written this? Because we can take 1 as 42 by 42. And when we will subtract this 10 by 42 from it, it will come 32 by 42. And we can round off this as 16 by 21. Next, we can write food consumed on each day is equal to 16 by 21 divided by 24. And how I got this? Because 16 by 21 food was remaining and 
food and it was consumed in 24 days because after the arrival of these 200 soldiers we are given that the food lasted only for 24 days so when we divide this we get 2 by 63 and we can write let the number of final soldiers be x plus 200 since first there were x soldiers and then 200 soldiers arrived so it became x plus 200 next i have made a proportion out of it and since x plus 200 soldiers ate 2 by 63 of the food each day and x soldiers ate 1 by 42 of the food each day so there is a formula namely product of means is equal to product of extremes here x plus 200 and 1 by 42 are the mean extremes and 2 by 63 and x are the means so we can exchange it there's no problem in that and then it comes x plus 200 by 42 is equal to 2x by 63 we have multiplied this x plus 200 into 1 so it is as it is divided by this 42 and then it is 2 into this x 2x divided by 63 and then we can cross multiply it so we will multiply this 63 with this x plus 200 and this 42 with 2x and both will be equal just like this now 63 into x is 63x and 63 into 200 is 12600 is equal to 84x we have multiplied this and so this 84x we have taken this shifted sides is equal to 63x plus 12600 and then we can subtract this 63x from this and we'll get 21x and this 12600 remains as it is on all these steps next x is equal to 12600 by 21 how i have got this because i have divided 21 from both sides so this 21 cancels out and i have and i am left with 12600 by 21 next is equal to 600 so there were 600 soldiers in the fort initially and this is our answer like always ask your doubts in the comment section thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos